Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Doka Battle video, and today we are going to do a showcase on STR Rose Goku Black, who just got his EZA. Um, we're kind of going to also be looking at the AGO Goku Black, because I haven't done his showcase yet either. Um, I kind of want to wait for this guy to have like a better kind of pairing, and we're just going to pair them together. So we're going to look at this guy with that AGO Goku Black on rotation and see how good these units can be. So let's take a look at STR Goku Black here. Um, so he's an extreme type 140 lead, so basically the opposite of um, STR Vegito Blue, who's a 140 uh, super class lead. Just like Vegito Blue, though, has a very fire sticker, very, very good sticker, probably one of the better ones in the game. Uh, very, very good sticker there. Um, for a super attack effect, he greatly raises defense for one turn, does immense damage, and then raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for one turn. So he does have a nice um, kind of support passive in there when he's attacking. But you're going to need him in slot 1 or 2 to really, like, let the party get the benefit of that, right? <clears throat> he gets attack and uh, defense 150 at the start of turn. And then extreme class allies key 3 and defense 50. So basically, he is a very good defense support already. And then he's giving a, a attack on super. So I do like that part about him, right? He gets an additional attack plus 50 for uh, Realm of Gods category extreme class allies. So it... For the type of units you're going to be running him with, which are going to be other like Goku Black and Zamasu units, they're going to fit into that, right? So he is a 50% attack and defense 3 key support, while giving more attack on Super, which is actually really, really good, right? So the way I want to think of this guy as we're looking through the showcase, uh, I think if we think of him more as a support unit than like an on-rotation unit, he's probably going to feel a little bit better, right? But we'll see how he's looking. We're going to run him on rotation, obviously. And then super class enemies attack and defense minus 30, plus an additional attack and defense 50, and attacks effective against all types for the rest of the battle when delivering the final blow. That's the really stinky part about his kit. He's got to get a kill in to get his full passive, and that's really tough because sometimes a red zone fight might just be one big boss, so it doesn't matter if you get the killing blow. Um, a lot of these bosses are very tanky, and you can't guarantee that this is the guy that's going to be able to deal the blow. Um, in like super battle road, or like events with like weaker waves of enemies, sure, it's pretty easy to get that off, but not always, right? So we're going to try to get that off here, maybe right away, we'll see. Uh, full level 10 links, by the way. We got the AGL Goku Black, so we'll take a quick look at him. This is also full level 10 links, but he is only at 69%. Um, so he raises attack and defense for one turn and seals. And then his passive is attack and defense 100, plus an additional attack and defense 25 with each attack received up to 100. So he's got to get hit five times to build that up. Attacks effective against all types, starting from the turn in which they received the fifth attack. And then Future Saga category allies, three keen attack and defense 40. So really, he's just a basically a good support unit that needs to get hit a bunch to build up. That's actually pretty bad. Like, it contradicts itself because, like, these support units, you want them to be floating. And they're typically not as defensive, so you don't want them to get hit. But this guy wants to get hit, but doesn't have good defense to start. So that's really poor design, I feel like, on this Goku Black. Now... That being said, I'm sure once he takes his hits and gets built up, he's going to look pretty good. But I hate these units that need to get hit, but then they have like no guard or damage reduction or good defense early on. So you can see 184k defense for the AGL one. That's okay. But even in red zone, like if you're taking, you're going to take like a bunch from normals, right? Now he is going to build up as he gets hit. So then it would go down. Um, and then STR Goku Black at 286. And he is going to get a great defense raise. So that's pretty good. Um, so a great defense raise should be a 50% raise. So he's going to be sitting near like 425k defense after super, which isn't the worst, right? And we haven't gotten the killing blow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the AGL Goku Black in slot 1 to hopefully get hit 3 times. And then um, not kill the Vegeta, hopefully. And I'm hoping SDR Goku Black can just sneak a quick kill here right away. And that would be nice because then we'd have that full passive right away, right? We'll see. Alright, so Goku Black getting hit, building up his stats. Uh, 3.4, okay, and he's 69%. He's a support unit, not fully built up. I do think this AGL Goku Black is going to be pretty good built up. It's just a matter of getting him built up, right? So, 3 out of 5 hits there, and then 6.6. .6. So, for an on-rotation unit, like, 6.6 .6 isn't crazy, but, dude, 6.6 .6 for, like, a floating support is pretty good. And look at that, we got the killing blow. Uh, that's just us being really lucky, though, right? So... We are going to see like a fully buffed Goku Black here, so he's going to look really good in this video. Oh, and by the way, we are running him on the Patara team, because right now that is his best leader skill on Global. Uh, 180 is what we're getting here on the Patara. He doesn't have a 200% lead yet, um, which is kind of unfortunate. 
I, I really don't like Trunks and Vegeta's, like, their leader skill's crazy, like the Bond of Parent Child or whatever, and then Future Saga's decent. Um, but that 30%, that Battle of Fate, oh, that's just so bad. I there, there are some good units on Battle of Fate, but, like, Battle of Fate misses Goku Black. Like, it's only the, like, Merge Zamasu that's Battle of Fate. Because it's literally, like, the big fight at the end of Sagas is what that category is. So it's, like, Vegito and then, like, Goku Black and Zamasu merged is pretty much what the final fight is. So, like, regular Goku Blacks and then I think even Goku Black and Zamasu, like, the, the dual unit, I the Joint Forces unit, I don't even think they're on Battle of Fate. So it's really unfortunate that it's only merged Zamasus because... I mean, I guess it's fine because Trunks is really, you want to run the super class team anyways. Um, so I'm hoping they come out with a 200% extreme class lead that would cover those units, right? Because we're getting LR merge Zamasu, but I'm pretty sure he's like the old LR like 150 leader skill. Like, I don't think he's a 200. Um, I could be mistaken on that, but I'm pretty sure that merge Zamasu isn't a 200. Now, if he is a 200, then we're going to be cooking, right? So um, we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to go look back at that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not 200. Um, all right, so here's a really nice turn. Uh, Bajillion types of support here. Uh, let's see. So AGL Goku Black now at 300k starter turn defense, right? And he is getting a 30% defense raise on Super, so not the worst. I mean, and once again, thinking of STR Goku Black, even with that first, like, 6 mil attacks that we saw, like, as a floating support, that's actually, like, pretty darn good. Um, it's just that I think... Uh, you know, the Extreme Future Saga and 4.4 for this guy, which is really good once again for a support unit. I think they, like, Goku Black, like, they need Rosé. Like, they're they're actually a like, pretty limited team. So they kind of need him to be on rotation. Yeah, and then 9.6. So, if he gets a killing blow, now he's just easily shoving out 10 mil attacks at us, and he looks great. Oh, I, that, I, I forgot to check his defense. I think I brought it up on screen, but I didn't really note it. We'll look at the defense next turn. But he's basically going to be double supported. Now, we are dressing, up, dressing him up really well. I don't know that you're going to run the AGL Goku Black on rotation and always have him, like, double supported like this. But, I mean, AGL Goku Black, you do need him to get hit. And right now, like, the Goku Black Zamasu team is kind of limited. Now, we're going to get the EZA for LR uh, Goku Black and Zamasu and then get the actual LR Merge Zamasu. That's going to be, like, a very nice rotation, right? You're going to love that rotation. Then the other rotation, I suppose, would be... a. You know, depending on what the leader is, if it were another LR Merge Zamasu, then sure, with, like, Goku Black, you might do that. But uh, we'll have to see how the team shapes out. But I just know that, like, the EZA Goku Black and Zamasu, and then the LR Merge Zamasu, they're, like, really good defensive units. And then them comboed, even on the Trunks team, right? Like, having Trunks and then, like, that rotation is kind of crazy defensively, too, right? Okay, so let's see what we got here. So... All right, so now I think AGL Goku Black is basically fully built up. So we're looking at about 356k starter turn defense. Once again, it's okay, but you think about red zone, he's probably going to get demolished in there, right? But for most of the game, like, he's fine. And he is a nice support option, right? Um, and he does get more defense on super. Now we're 416k starter turn defense with a 50% raise. That means Goku Black in slot 2 is going to be at, like, 600k defense. Which actually is very good. It's solid enough. Once again, this is all hindering on us getting that killing bl blow, right? Without the killing blow, he's not looking nearly as impressive. So, I don't know. Like, I get why people maybe downplay the Vegito Blue and, and Rosé a little bit. But I don't think they're bad. Like, they're not bad. Because um, we see Vegito... They're, they're both RNG dependent. And I think that's the bad part about both units is there's a little RNG, right? So, Goku Black, it's can you get a setup for the killing blow? And for Vegito, it's how often are your supers going to proc, right? And then, yeah, 9.6. So there we are. It's probably going to be pretty consistent the whole way through. Goku Black hitting 10 mil attack stats. Uh, the AGL one hitting like 5 mil. Hey, another killing blow. Do we get another buff? <laughs> that would be nice. Get a buff every time. But, you know, Goku Black, when you get him going, like, I'm not mad at 600k defense. Dude, 600k defense with 10 mil attack stats. Like, is that good or bad? Like, you can tell me if that's good or bad. I'm going to say that that's good, especially for an old TUR EZA, right? Um, if a brand new Dokkan Fest came out with 600k defense and 10 mil attack stats, like, they probably would have to have some other stuff in their kit, but that's pretty comparable to, like, the type of numbers I would expect, right? Um, so I think these units are fine. Like, sure, every unit could be better, right? Any unit could be better. Um, but you kind of understand what they're going for for these EZAs. They're not going to take an EZA, typically 
and make it like best unit in the game red zone killer. Now there are some exceptions, like I would say Goku Black Samasu is one of those exceptions that's very, very good, just has a very good build. Um, Physical Future Gohan would be one of those exceptions, like very well built, especially after now we got Vegeta and Trunks. But for the most part, what you expect out of these EZAs is that they bring them up to relevancy. Like those numbers are current meta types of numbers, right? I'm not going to expect every unit to come in and waltz in and tank red zone. Um, but some units, that's how their kit is built. Some units not. But yeah, 600k defense, 10 mil attack stats. Now keep in mind, right, without the killing blow, he's what, 6 mil attack stats? And um, probably like what, 3, 400k defense after super? So like definitely not as good. But here's the way I think about this Goku Black. For a floating support unit, I'll take the 6 mil attack stat and like the 400k defense. That's for a floating support, that is actually excellent. So if there are team builds where I can find for this guy's a floating support, I actually do like that. And then if I am using him on rotation, I gotta kind of pick and choose and make sure I can get that killing blow early. If I can get the killing blow early, he is a very suitable on rotation unit. Like these numbers are good. So let's just get one more turn here. I mean, we're not really gonna see anything too much different. Um, this Goku Black floating about 4.4. Now, once again, minus 69%. I'm guessing Rainbow, this guy's probably like 5 mil plus, which for floating support, I'll take that all day, right? And then 9.6 once again. So anyways, guys, there you go. The double Goku Black Showcase. I actually think they're very good. I do like them. Um, neither of them, you know, are like the best, most impressive units in the world, but they're definitely not bad. Like, they're totally good. And I like the Tech Vegito Blue, too. I don't think he's that bad. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.